In this video, I want to introduce you to bin packing. Now, the title here of bin packing, you probably have an idea already of what that would constitute, what we would be doing. Um, but the concepts of bin packing aren't necessarily just uh, working with uh, putting stuff into bins, um, although that's pretty much how we're going to tackle these types of problems. Um, it could be packing uh, boxes into a van or a truck or onto a train, um, or it could be, for example, uh, packing cars onto a car ferry. It could be um, cutting different lengths of wire from one meter length wires, for example. How many one meter length wires do I need in order to uh, get all of the cuts that I require? Okay, so there are several different scenarios that you might be able to think of that would use a similar um, problem solving technique with a similar algorithm uh, to solve it. So we're going to be looking at, first of all, considering a lower bound. How can we find a lower bound for bin packing situations? Um, and note that we only, we only deal with uh, one dimensional situations. Okay, so um, we're not gonna be talking about um, uh, packing boxes into a van and like, the different ways that you can pack all these different boxes. Although you can kind of imagine that that is where these uh, problems can go um, into the problem solving nature of that. How best can you pack all of these different shaped boxes together? So computer programs can be designed to try and solve that problem. So we're, as I said, uh, kind of went off a bit there, uh, so I'll backtrack. Um, so we'll look at a lower bound. Uh, we're going to look at uh, a couple of algorithms with this. Uh, first fit and first fit decreasing. And there's also the full bin strategy that we need to be aware of as well.